Hey everybody, it's ASIC Eric here from the Second Chance Garage again. And today is cleanup mess day and break things apart. We have uh, rented a big dumpster here for a bunch of housework and stuff that we're getting done and clean up. So I'm dumping all kinds of things and they take car parts, etc. So I'm getting rid of all of the Camaro stuff uh, that I'm not going to use. Um, so let me show you what we're up to here. Uh, leaf springs are going away because we have a four link. I'm about to bust these guys apart and take uh, the calipers and everything off, get them down to the spindles. Spindles the only thing I'm keeping here. So that all goes away. Um, and then I gotta get the rest of this stuff off, get it out of here. And then the rear end, I was gonna wait on this. Um, but I've got the dumpster here, so I think I might as well get rid of this while I, while I can here, make my life a little easier. So I just have to drain the fluid out of this and get this out of here too. Um, I'm not keeping anything from here. So the plan is a new Moser, 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 I'm not sure. Um, one of the Fab 9 rear ends, um, those angular iron fabricated housings I think are super sweet. Um, so I don't need that, so that's out of here. All those pieces are out of here, so um, anyway, as I was saying before, I'm going to get the subframe all done and the new uh, ride tech and the Willwood stuff on there after this is cleaned up and painted. So the front subframe is done, so I figured, well, I might as well do this while I'm at it then. And then, uh, like I said, I spray the bottom of the car, get it finished, put all the new suspension on, and the bottom of the car is fairly done. You know, then I just have to do the, the fuel tank and fuel lines, brake lines, stuff like that. But basically the bottom of the car is done. So for those of you who haven't seen a good overview of the car in a while, it's its current state of affairs. Do a walk around on what's going on here. So all the floorboards are done inside here. Um, oh, that's right, I gotta start busting this stuff out of here too. Gotta get all this crap out. I'm not keeping any of this either. Uh, gotta get the firewall done. Not that much stuff to take off of here, so I gotta bust all of this stuff off here, here today as well. I'm getting a vintage air system for it, so I don't need any of this garbage. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, I gotta come back and finish this up one of these days. Um, that's almost finished there. Uh, the trunk we showed last time, that's just about done being stripped. Um, so after... I get done with all of this work today. Um, hopefully this thing is ready to be sandblasted. Uh, this stuff here is about ready to be sandblasted. There's just a few little touch up things here and there I need to do. Um, the bottom of the car is about ready as well. So anyway, that's the plan of attack. Finish up the suspension, get it done, get the bottom of the car done, get the trunk done. And once all that's done, I can get this thing off the rotisserie and get it back onto the ground again. And that's going to feel like a huge milestone to actually have this thing sitting on the ground again. <laughs> uh, that'll be nice. Um, I did decide today to dump the front fenders. Uh, let me show you those, what's left of them. They're, they're kind of buried back here, but uh, this one I had started doing the repair on it. Um, that's like the first thing I did on the car just as an experiment because I wasn't sure whether I was keeping the fenders anyway. Um, so I cut this piece off here. As you can see, this thing's pretty beat up here and there's another brace piece that was just rotted out and missing. Like there you can see on that one. Um, so all of that bracing in there is gone um, and you can't get replacements for it. Uh, sorry, this was pretty rough in the corner here as one would expect. Um, the inside of this fender was not terrible. The other one pretty much looked like that all the way through. I'm um, just a mess. Um, so I probably could have salvaged these, but I don't think I ever would have felt comfortable with it because it's probably rust up inside all of these things. And so I just set them to dump them. Yeah, that's just probably going to save me a bunch of time from having to replace all of that stuff anyway. So and. They were pretty rough. So anyway, that's the state of affairs. So I'm not sure if I need these brackets here or not. So I'm gonna take those off and then the leaf springs go in the dumpster 
Um, as I said, bust this stuff apart, so I'm going to get to work on that. Yeah, I've been lucky since most of this stuff was already off this car when I got it that I've had to do precious little of this super dirty grunge work here. But, ugh, man, it's like I killed a zombie right there. It's horrible. Like straight out of The Walking Dead. Um, anyway, got the spindles all taken apart. This one's all cleaned up. Ready to go. I shot a little bit of WD-40 on the actual, um, I don't know what that piece is called. Spline, whatever, something. Um, to keep it from rusting. I don't know if those things rust anyway, if they're made out of stainless or what. Uh, I'm going to clean this one up. And then that's it for that. And then i got to go start blowing apart the rest of that subframe. But that's messy work, man. Really messy work. All right, that's going to do it for today. Got these guys all cleaned up, as you can see. I think they look pretty good. Uh, question for you guys, if you know, um, is that silver there or gray, whatever? Is that the factory spindle color? That's something I should try to match. It doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I don't care necessarily, but you know, it's either going to be black or something else. So I guess that's an okay choice. Uh, show you all of the carnage here rear end steering wheel tires springs lower motors all kinds of stuff out of here so real productive day all right we'll show you everything we got done today as i was just saying super productive so we got the firewall cleaned off the heater blower off of there the uh Brake booster, windshield wiper motor, all the wires, well, most of the wires, we got a few left. I uh, got the steering column out. Uh, I kept the brake booster. Um, I'm keeping the things that I'm unsure about. And the only thing I was unsure about here was whether the new booster comes with the push rod or not, because I can't really see an easy way to get that one out. So I'm assuming the new one will come with one, but I'm going to hang on to that until I know the answer to that. Uh, subframes all cleaned off. I uh, got everything except the motor mounts. Tried to get those off and then realized there's nuts on the back of these. I didn't feel like dealing with it because I'd already stood it up on the wall and I don't really know the easy way to get in there and figure that out. It might be a two-person job. So I stopped. But I got all the control arm springs, brake lines, everything off of there. Uh, so as soon as I get those two off, this thing's ready to be sandblasted. So it's good to go. The rear end's out of here, as you can see. Drained all the oil out of that. Uh, got spindles done. I got everything I wanted to get done today, so... Very productive day. I'm pretty happy. I've been out here for, I don't know, six hours or something working, so I'm kind of beat. But I did get a lot done, so that's good news. Alright, well anyway, um, thanks guys. Hope you're all having a good weekend and your project's going well. You're happy, everything's good. I'm happy, everything's good. Project's going well, so I'm in a good place. Thanks guys, take it easy.